Hello beautiful people, welcome back to the Canada Info Up channel. My name is Wolo and I live in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. How are you doing? It's been a while that I did a sit down video. I've actually been doing the live video where I chat with you guys. But I decided I was going to do the um, sit down video and talk about certain things. I might come on live maybe sometime soon but I don't know. So if you're new to this channel, I'll request for you to do one thing. Subscribe to this channel. Give me the like button because it is needed and share the video with your friends and family because you might be helping someone you don't know and if I have not responded to your email, please forgive me. <laughs> I've been so busy. Yes, yeah, so it's the 12 days to Christmas series and Christmas is by the corner. We have survived this year so if you're still alive, just be thankful and be grateful that everything is still fine with you and if you're going through a rough patch, just don't worry. It will pass and good times will come so today's video i'll be talking about some of the updates that have happened recently um about canada immigration and the first update is nova scotia if you don't know canada has several pathways almost 100 pathways and i've talked about most of them on this channel just take time to go through the old videos you might find something that will relate to you so Nova Scotia, I talked about Nova Scotia category B one time, sometime last year, um, where they just open and close, people apply, they select people and they open and close. So that particular pathway is permanently closed for category B. Category A will also be closed permanently January 4th, 2021. So if you were looking to target Nova Scotia um, demand express entry, um, well, this is one of the casualties of COVID-19. So just try to look for other options. The second update I want to mention is an immigration path. Will I say it's an immigration pathway? Not really, but it's a pathway for some European countries that have an agreement with Canada. Um, their young professionals can come to Canada to work for a certain period of time. And then they can use that opportunity if they like Canada to one, want to stay permanently in Canada. They can use the opportunity to immigrate under the Canadian Experience Class. It is called the International Experience Class Pathway. Canada signed an updated agreement with um, Italy. So if you know any Italian citizen aged between 18 and 35, you let them know that they can come to Canada under the International Experience Class. And if they get a job offer and work for one year, they will be eligible to apply under the Canadian Experience Class and become permanent residents of Canada. The third update I want to share concerning immigration is for Newfoundland and Labrador. Now, Newfoundland and Labrador um, put in an update on their website, which I will show you on the screen. And on that update, they listed 28 occupations and they said those 28 occupations are exempt from labor market testing um, under the AIP stream. AIP is Atlantic immigration pilots and you know with Atlantic immigration pilots you have to search for job offers So Newfoundland and Labrador they listed 28 occupations and There are about eight of them under the healthcare category and 20 of them under um, Information technology and other occupations as well I'll put the list so that you can see the occupations I also leave the link on the description box of this video so that you can read it yourself so they are going to provide more updates concerning that but basically what it means is if they used to do labor market testing for those occupations um what that means is they will request that the employer must find someone living in newfoundland and labrador or any part of canada to take those jobs first before they can offer the jobs to someone outside canada but they are now removing that restriction and allowing employers to employ people from outside Canada without going through the necessary testing of advertising that job offer, looking for somebody in Canada to take the job offer. So if somebody is outside Canada, the person can apply as long as you find your occupation on that list. Now, the eighth occupation that is under um, healthcare. Um, you know healthcare in Canada is regulated, so you cannot be searching for jobs as a general physician from outside Canada, except maybe you are working in places like the UK, US and Australia, because those are the places they consider before they give such job offers. And of course, you have to go through some 
licensing first before they can give you the job offer so if you if you're not working in these places you cannot apply under these categories they are looking for people working in these places but more details will be provided um next year because i caused the provincial nomination office to confirm about the details and they said it will be provided next year concerning those 28 occupations and maybe we don't know maybe they might include more countries where they can source for medical practitioners to come work in canada so these are the information and these are the updates i said i would share for this um 12 days to christmas series and i hope you have gotten one or two information that is useful to you and i request that you subscribe to this channel and please i need my christmas chicken <laughs> where did you keep my christmas <laughs> i'm just joking but seriously i have been churning out information doing research replying to people's emails uh chatting with people on my instagram dm talking to you guys i need my christmas chicken now i need my christmas chicken before i cry <laughs> anyway um i just want to wish you a beautiful week ahead and see you tomorrow in my next video it's still the 12 days to christmas series i might be putting one of these by 40 hearts yeah so see you tomorrow on my video and um, stay blessed Bye bye